Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, if you are new here, and this is the very last video in my office style series. The first two videos were kind of more geared towards tips and tricks and hacks. It's going to be more outfit focused with like a side of tips and tricks. I don't know what I just said, I just blacked out. But, and just bear with me, all of my spring shoes are in storage right now. I think I have maybe two pairs of spring shoes in my closet right now. New York closet problems, I do not have room. This video is geared towards the trouser. I wanted to pick trousers because I feel like it's still that weather where it's bright and sunny, it's still a little chilly. So we are grabbing our trousers more so than we are our skirts right now. Do a whole video on my four favorite pairs of trousers that I own right now. Also wanted to talk about kind of transitioning into spring. So I have two springtime trousers and I have to all year round trousers. And also keep in mind if this doesn't apply to your dress code, I know everyone's dress code is so different. Um, just kind of take, take it with a grain of salt, kind of work around it, work towards your dress code, and we'll just roll with it. <laughs> so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the outfits. First pair of trousers that I'm going to be showing you guys are these really beautiful mauvey rose colored pink um, wide leg trousers. And this is a really spring focused color. I think a, an item like this really brightens up your outfit and I just think it's so beautiful for spring. If I was going for a really bright, um, light all over girly look, I would definitely do a cream or a white top with some sort of detail on it. Top is cream and it has a really cool like ruffle, not even so much a ruffle, just like so many different dimensions to this sleeve. It's comfortable and I think it goes great with the pink trousers. Next you could do a little pink on pink. So you can create this monochromatic look with all different shades of pink, which I really love. And this tee is a little casual for work, so I would definitely do a blazer or a bomber or something like that over, just so you're not wearing a basic t-shirt. Now this one is a little see-through, so um, I would not personally wear this one to the office. There are so many different shades of pink tops out there that you you can find that are appropriate for work. And next is one of my favorite color combinations and it is this pink and black. And I think this is just a really, really cool color combination. I think it's kind of unexpected. I love pairing blacks with pastels. I feel like it's kind of like mis mixing um, girly and edgy, which is so my style. It's something that I do on a daily basis. So I really love this color combination and I think it's great for the office. It's kind of eye-catching and it stands out. My next pair of trousers are these white culottes. And this is actually a pair that I wore during the fall and winter because they are so thick. It's a really thick material. Um, so it can kind of take you all season. I was really lucky to find these um, because every time I find a pair of white pants, they're always more geared towards spring and summer. One of my favorite ways to style white pants for spring is with a white top. I know, groundbreaking. But I just love a white on white look. And these pants are actually um, more of a cream white and this top is a little bit more on the cream side. So again, you've got a monochromatic look but still kind of breaking it up with different shades of the same color. And if you wanted to layer up and add a blazer, I picked up this one from Zara, actually linen. And this color is just so beautiful. I feel like this color can also carry you into fall but it's still a very spring and summer material because it is linen. I just love the idea of almost made out with the camera. I love the idea of these two colors colliding. You could do a white on white look with this blazer and you could even do a white top and then this blazer over it as well. And I think that's a really beautiful combination also. My hair crazy today. It's crazy. So next we're gonna talk about the good old black trouser. And this is something I feel like all of you guys have. We all have a pair of black trousers in our closet, especially if we're going to work every day you have black trousers. Uh, you need to get some because this is like a lifesaver for me. Anytime I'm like needing a cool pant, even if, if it's with a graphic tee or a dressy blouse, I always go for these if I don't want to wear black jeans. So, And to lighten things up a little bit and make these a little bit more springtime, I would pair them with some sort of printed spring top. Now, of course, you could do a solid like the light pink top I showed you, but that's kind of boring. If you want it fun, if you want it cool, then I would do something like this. I think the silhouette is really great. Not everyone is a print person, but I totally am. So if you are more comfortable wearing a, you know, pink solid or like um, a light blue solid, that's great as well. Just as long as you're pairing these spring colors and these spring prints to kind of tie in with the black and lighten things up a little bit. So next is another spring pant that could go either way. It could go fall, it could go summer, 
summer it could go spring and it is this pair of navy pleated super wide leg super wide leg Kulas. It's such an all year round color and I think it's such an understated color. Um, I'm, I've been using navy more of as a neutral like I would black or white. I think navy is just like a really great color to have in your closet to alternate between your black and your white. Lighten things up and to make these a little bit more springtime, I would do some sort of really nice white button top. Um, of course, I love a bun sleeve, so this is my first choice. I think this is a really great outfit. It's simple, it's basic, but it's still is stylish and it's trendy because of the fun sleeve. And if you wanted to add a little bit of print and a little texture, you could always add something like this over it. This is obviously more on the coat side, so I don't know if I would just sit at my desk and wear this all day. I would probably take it off as soon as I got to the office. But if you guys have blazers like this, um, I think this is a really cool color combination when you're talking about navy, white, and then this really pretty beigey color right here. It's kind of a really cool color story. If you are looking for something to wear throughout the day with this outfit, I would do something like this. This is a chambray duster, actually from Target, and I just picked this up a week ago, and I've worn it three times already. I love it so much. So. I think adding something like this is a really good way to add layers and if it's a little cold this will keep you warmer um, but you could do this as a coat or you could do this as kind of a third piece as like a duster blazer type situation which I think is always um, it just adds a little bit more to your outfit if your style is more on the simple side and you aren't printed and you aren't a layer kind of girl you could always go for something like this this is just a basic blush pink top with some navy trimming around the sides and I think this is a really good outfit too. It's basic, it's simple, um, it's not super dressy, it's kind of relaxed and I really love this outfit. Alright guys, I hope you love this video and I hope you love the outfits that I threw together for you. I think trousers are making a bigger comeback than they ever have because menswear is really a focus right now and I feel like cool trousers are so attainable and they're so easy to find in most stores. But yeah, I just really wanted to give you guys some trouser inspiration and I really hope that you guys love this video and I really liked doing this office series so I, I want to do it definitely um, again in the summer obviously with summer topics and summer tips and tricks because I know we all need that because it gets so hot. And as always, don't forget to check out my magazine, my online magazine. It goes out at the first of each month. If you just go to this link right here or down below, you can click on it. Um, the site is getting redone, so I, it should be live, but it's getting a makeover as we speak. So, But all the info is still there and you can still sign up. April's magazine, we have a whole four page spread on office wear and you know how to stay stylish at the office. Um, springtime office wear so you don't want to miss that because it's a lot of really good info but I will see you guys in my next video